The power of women. Women! <laughs> Nothing can stop them. My God, my God. When the Lord spoke to me to do the women's conference, this is exactly what he told me. God told me that I am releasing the greatest move the earth has ever seen. But I need matriarchs. No force can hold them back from the call of destiny. When they gathered, the nations took note. touch women by the and in many of these parables that engage women Matthew the 13th chapter gives us a parable spoken by Jesus himself he says the kingdom of heaven is likened unto living which a woman took and hid in three measures of meal till the whole was living mark the where only a woman is mentioned without a male actor participating. participating. Why didn't he say which a person took? Why didn't he say which a man took? Why did he say a woman took? This level of revelation, this is for them to whom it is given to know, to demystify what is for them. This is something that you have to break into. It is not something that you simply explain to understand. It is a realm that you have to break into. Because revelational insight is redemptive power. Every time a woman is used symbolically in scripture, I've realized that there's a principle of thought or you might call it a guiding concept of introducing a certain system of beliefs or practice to the end in revealing the power of influence. The word therefore took is the Greek word lambano. And that word means as though there was a forceful taking. This is not a woman asking. This is not a woman picking something passive. No, she's picking something with a certain force, with a certain energy. And the Bible says she hid it. The Greek word there is crypto, which is the English word to encrypt, to keep a secret. In other words, only a woman knew how to forcefully take something and turn it into sort of a secret in three measures until that secret made the whole lamp living. Only a woman can do that. I want you to elevate your vision I want you to elevate your vision to understand that this simple example God elevated to a picture of a kingdom. He says, even in my kingdom, I need this kind of species. Something that can 
can receive strength and get a hole. And hide a secret. Enough to make it whole. That by the time this secret comes out. It is different. From what it first received. So that the secret. Is in how she is able to receive. And hide. Until she translates. Put your hand on your head and say, I came to connect to something bigger than me, greater than me, older than me, greater than me, in Jesus' name. Unfortunately, because of our indifferences in culture, the movements that have come to emancipate you out of your power, it literally took your power in the name of empowering you. Influence is dangerous without power above it. He says, for this cause, out the woman to have power over her head for the sake of the angels. Wow. For the sake of the angels. Why? Because she has too much influence. Whether you want it or not, you are a chosen luminary. Every success you do, every good thing you do, has a ripple effect to multiply in men. You choose what you're going to do, but you have the influence. You have the power. And in Genesis 18, verse 6, Abraham hastened into the tent and to Sarah and said to her, Make ready quickly three measures of fine meal. Did you get it? The kingdom of God is likened unto living, which a woman took and hid in three measures of meal. Abraham tells Sarah, make ready quickly three measures of meal. Who is understanding where I'm going? They said, Wait, Sarah, your wife is in the tent. And he said, I'll certainly return unto thee, and Sarah, your wife, shall have a son. Now, Abraham and Sarah were old and well stricken in age. Therefore, Sarah laughed. Why did she laugh? She laughed in unbelief. However, the son she gave birth to is called Isaac, which means he laughs. In other words, even in her unbelief, there was a nature against her unbelief that conceived and in doubting, she actually believed. What she laughed about, she laughed in her. Tell your neighbor I have no choice. I must bring forth what God called me on this earth for. Say I will not die until I fulfill the God-given assignment on my life. So I see by mystery. <laughs> The word Abraham served. This woman serves in the kingdom. But I pray this evening that the prophetic oracle coming out of my mouth will drown every voice of unbelief. Whether you're 67, 65, 32, tell God today, 17, June, I begin something new. Tell God but something in me that somebody my age can't give birth to. Somebody my height can't give birth to. Somebody my family background cannot give birth to. Something a broken past can't give birth to. Something, oh, something my credibility can't give birth to. Something my potential can't give birth to. Something my degree cannot give birth to. But 
something in me I've never seen on another woman My Great Price 2024 Loading Venero Make Manifest